Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to the latest video and in this video what we're going to talk about is the possibility that companies are going to start using AI to make clever purchasing decisions. So here we go, we're going to talk about AI in purchasing. Now a contact of mine on LinkedIn has sent me a message saying that he's heard that in some SAP systems they've started using AI and what they're going to do is they're going to optimise they're going to optimize batch sizes okay and they're going to optimize batch sizes to minimize the cost and what it's going to be looking at is of course the the cost per part as the batch size gets bigger and smaller um, and maybe the cost of I don't know, call it the cost of handling. So maybe as this price goes down, we've got more stock, this price goes up, but maybe somewhere in here there is a sweet spot. And maybe the sweet spot is changing, so we've got to have a robot do this. Yeah, now then, what are we doing here? You are effectively. You are automating you are automating stupidity at this point you are automating stupidity the idea that you can change the batch size order less order more swing it around change the decisions backwards and forwards Think logically for a second. Number one, demand is even. Demand is flat. Most products, the demand is flat. The exceptions being things like if you make ice cream, sun comes out, demand goes crazy. I accept that. If you make things for war, a war breaks out, demand flies all over the place. Yeah, and then if peace breaks out, demand collapses, all right? But if you make Mars bars, think about the majority of pieces. You make Mars bars, you make kettles, you make shirts, you make pens. Think about it. There is a natural consumption rate there is an even, even demand. Now, the supply chains don't see that. Why don't the supply chains see that? Because we have this stupidity built in. We don't call it AI, but some bright spark invented MRP 60 years ago and created absolute havoc in supply chains. And of course, what was it supposed to do? Well, it was supposed to make these smart decisions. Yeah. But number one, demand is even. So if that's the case, what are you gonna purchase? Well, what you're gonna purchase is the same quantity every month. You just purchase the average. Now, of course, what you see is this craziness that you get from your customers. Of course, that's what you see. But of course, running through the middle running through the middle is the real demand of the market so we don't need AI 
it's a bleeding average it's a simple value to calculate that's the first point number two swing in demand so this fine thing here this AI robot buys more buys less swing in demand where does the supply chain get capacity from remember you've had to give them an idea of what you're going to buy they've planned they bought machinery they have a certain amount of capacity they have a certain number of people in their factory they've ordered a certain amount of raw material then this stupid thing up here says I would like five times the amount that I normally want because I'm seeing a cost benefit somewhere in my miraculous model where do you think your supply chain gets the capacity from? Where do you think they get the raw materials from? It, it, this, this thing is behaving like magic exists. The raw material has to be purchased. The people have to be available and the machinery has to be available to make stuff. If you tell them this even demand and you always order that even demand, they will deliver on time every time and you can talk to them about how to do it with the cheapest cost possible because you have a repetitive standard way of doing it you let this thing run there is no repetition there is no possibility to talk about optimization because sometimes the orders are this big sometimes the orders are this big and it has a flipping clue what's coming next nobody this is automated stupidity you know so the demand is even but you're gonna make it look like this if you let a robot have it then you've got swinging demand where does the where does the capacity come from and finally think about the warehouse your own facilities Where do you think you get more warehouse space from? So again, this thing does this all the time. Maybe even worse than this, up here somewhere. Maybe goes for three times the normal demand because there's a, there's a possibility of saving a penny. And it orders a bucket load of material and that arrives into your warehouse. Where'd you get the warehouse from? Where'd you get the people from to manage all this? move it all around are you are you dumb or what again if you do an even quantity you create flow in your in your warehouse do you know how much stock you're gonna have yeah it's gonna be nice and even you're gonna know what's coming you're gonna know how much space for each component you need you can set up pull systems you can set up a high and a low and a maximum and a minimum and, you, and again you can optimize this system. You can get the smallest warehouse possible, the most efficient warehouse possible, because everything is even. If some lunatic is draining the warehouse empty, then filling it full so you need off-site warehousing. This thing is automated stupidity. It, it really is. Life is simple. Demand is even. Setting this system up is so, so simple. You do not need millions of pounds worth of software that make dumb decisions. Please, anybody that's watching this, if you are considering AI for purchasing batch sizes and to try and save money, wow. I, I just, I cannot, cannot stipulate enough how dumb this idea is. It is taking something that we've been trying to get rid of for years and then automating it. And if that's, if that's your idea of making money, 
Go right ahead and have some fun with your software, but it definitely wouldn't be my recommendation. AI stupidity.